I just um, finished watching the pilot and the finale of The Promised Neverland. Why season 1? Because season 2 will start airing this January. It will start airing next month. Yeah, I thought... Can someone tell me why I fucking missed out of this anime? <laughs> Alright? So I'm going to uh, turn up my laptop now. Can someone tell me why I fucking missed out on this anime? The pilot of season one, wow. Okay. It was it was one of the creepiest I have ever seen. Okay. And the finale, it was quite a cliffhanger. Alright. I thought um I thought the maid is going I thought mom was going to do something to Emma, but um probably her her human side of her said don't do anything. Just let them escape. All right. Well, what am I getting at here, Reddit? Okay. What am I getting at here? Simple. The fear of missing out is real. Okay. Imagine. The Promised Neverland is one of the... It became an instant classic. And this was only aired last year. Okay. Now, um, with its second season about to air next month, I'm glad uh, I I've decided to um, to prepare myself to review it. All right, so that's an announcement. I I'll, I'm asking myself right now, why did I why did I miss out on this anime? Why? Okay. <clears throat> I want to slap myself in the face a hundred times right now. But anyway, the fear of missing out is real. Okay? It's not a uh, it's not a sales ploy. It's not a um, It's not a branding pitch. Okay? Much less. If you really want something, if you if you really want to do something, just do it. Okay? Don't let the fear of missing out eat you alive. Right? Because it's probably the only fear that is real. I know. Okay. That's why uh, that's why I watched the pilot and the finale of season one. Because uh, basically, I got no time binge watching the entire season one. All right. So I based my decision on on how the pilot and the finale went. Okay. So that was that was my decision. Now. Um, I truly regret not watching the entire season one on its first airing, right? So that fear of missing out is now creeping in. If you really want to do something for the first time, all right, just do it. Remember, Reddit, the fear of missing out is real. I just discovered this post on LinkedIn with a um, with this photo, <laughs> and um, the author of the post said that well, uh, it was a this was this was a lesson from a professor to his students that well, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't chase happiness. Let uh, let uh, let your happiness chase you. I agree, and it's a wonderful post. Okay, let me put it. Let me explain it, JG Ramos style. All right. Happiness is well. It's not exactly. Um, it's not exactly an uh, an external thing, but an internal thing. Let me explain, because what. <clears throat> Because the more you chase happiness, the lonelier you become, right? 
wherein happiness only lives within you. All right? It should come naturally. It should not be forced. And it, of course, it should be enjoyed. Okay? With all your heart and soul. So, in effect, LinkedIn, <clears throat> here's my power tip for you based on that post. Happiness should not be searched. Let happiness seek you out. I just checked the price of Bitcoin right now and wow okay in a span of roughly 72 hours ay earnings ko in Philippine pesos 1. Point, roughly 1.08 million and still everyone else is missing out all right they still go for secu secure all right secure bank-based investments like mutual funds uh, uh, pension funds pension uh, pension plans or uh, even time deposits Those things don't work anymore, people. Ever since the advent of cryptocurrencies, money has changed, literally. If you're not, if you don't have at least at least one big toe into it, you'll probably be left in the dust after 10 years, All right? Especially now, we're... We're in a pandemic. Where will your money, where will your money be after the pandemic is done with us? All right? Bitcoin, here's a power tip for you, TikTok. Bitcoin is the only pandemic-proof investment right now. what guys uh, I'm just a few minutes removed from watching bad boys for life on uh, what you call this on Fox movies right it was the movie I was supposed to go to before the pandemic started I was already planning on um, watching that movie all right I've seen the first two bad boys films and wow all right bah, bah, ha, uma, ate, kabo. all right so I, I thought I should not miss this movie <laughs> Will Smith and Martin Lawrence? Oh, yeah. Talagang astig. Right? Astig nila pareho. Now, well, telegram what I am, what am I driving at? Okay? Sometimes, um, foregoing your, for, for going your goals for at a time can sometimes lead you to achieving them. Alright? Now, I wasn't supposed to um, watch any more TV after uh, after watching the Lotto, but I th I thought, hmm, what's on Fox movies? Then boom, Bad Boys for Life. <laughs> Bad Boys for Life is on, so pinanod ko na. Okay, uh, I watched it, and I can now proudly say that I have seen all the Bad Boys movies. All right, <clears throat> it's one of my all-time favorite action franchises. Okay, it's, when it comes to movies. It's one of my all-time favorite action franchises. I forwent the goal of watching Bad Boys for Life on its first showing in the movie theaters because, well, um, the pandemic started. Okay, so how can you, how can I achieve that goal if they're not going to allow me to to watch a movie? Because it's bawal, bawal na cine, right? The whole con, the whole. The whole Philippines went on lockdown that uh, last March. I was supposed to I was supposed to really watch it, but I never got to. But now I have seen it. Thank God for cable. <laughs> because well, 
if you focus too much on 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 a goal it can lead you to burn out okay there is a there is an 80 to 90 percent chance that it will lead you to burn out that you can burn yourself out by just <clears throat> consistently focusing uh, consistently uh, grinding for that goal right stress is the only thing you do not need in your life much less your business much less in your brand okay so telegram here's a power tip for you for goal uh, I'm getting tongue tied because of of how of because of the action I saw in that movie. Forgoing a goal helps you achieve it sometimes. 